Hi, Taurus. It's time for your daily energy check. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. Three of Cups. This is a celebration or a reunion. We're going to go back and clarify the cards after I get these laid out, Taurus. We have the Devil, Capricorn energy. We have the Seven of Swords, someone lying, cheating, or stealing. So there's a celebration. And then there's someone here being sneaky. Six of Swords, moving into calmer water. Ten of Pentacles. This could be financial gain here. There's something here that you're waiting for, Taurus. You're moving towards this Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles, this is what everyone wants. This is happy home, happy family. Finances are great. And you're moving right towards it. This is success and victory, the Ace of Swords. Wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. The Lovers, Gemini energy, a choice. Okay, so let's clarify the Three of Cups. We had two, two cards fall out. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. It's time for your karma. The wheel of fortune is here. This is divine timing sitting right next to um, justice. Scales being balanced out, something being made right, something being made fair for you. I'm seeing you here in hermit mode where you've gone deep within looking for answers and you've put the time in and healed. And so you're celebrating it's your time. The Wheel of Fortune is going up. It's turning in your favor. Why is the devil here? Eight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. And the Star. The Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I feel like you're very focused on your work or your money right now. And this Eight of Pentacles is turning into the Ten of Pentacles, whatever you're working on. It's a wish fulfillment with the star. And things are going to start moving very quickly here for you. And I feel like you have a plan with the Page of Pentacles. You have a plan it's a new start. You have a map in front of you. And you're moving towards a wish fulfillment. Someone here is literally moving. The devil is being clarified by you having a new plan. So there's someone here... Um, that you could have felt stuck to. You had a hard time releasing them. But I'm seeing here that you've done the inner, inner work. And you're getting your justice for dealing with someone who was probably toxic for some of you. Because right next to the devil, I have the seven of swords. Someone who's a liar, cheating, stealing. But you're healing over this. And these new plans that you're making are going to move very quickly. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Five of Wands. The 
Six of Pentacles. And the Strength card. Yeah, you're making a judgment call, Taurus. Because something is something is very difficult for you with the Strength card. There's gossiping people here. There's no equal give and take. Someone's lying, cheating, or stealing, and it's been very difficult. But you do have the inner strength, and you're pulling yourself out of it. This could be a Leo. I have Leo energy here. But um, you're picking up what you can and moving on, Taurus, into calmer water. And this is earned success. Why is the Six of Swords here? There was a very painful ending that you're moving away from. Seven of Swords again. <laughs> there you are at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. There's. You're going to be getting um, some type of clarity and epiphany moment and new opportunity that brings a lot of growth into your life with the empress there's a betrayal here 10 swords in the back in the back someone stabbing you in the back and then running away it's like leaving you here on the ground and you can see their cape running away it's an ending and that's why you're, and this person was lying, cheating, or stealing, or all three. And that's why you're moving like this and working on yourself, working on your money, which is what I'm seeing you doing right here, putting your focus into your work. And then... We have the Ten of Pentacles. So you're building the Ten of Pentacles. It's in the center of your reading. This is a legacy. Long-term success. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? It's because you put the work in. The Eight of Pentacles is here again. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Judgment. You're making a judgment call. Um, because there's you're turning your back on the past, looking out into the future, and there's something that you're wishing for that you want. This could be a new home. This is this is what everyone wants, the Ten of Pentacles. And when I say why is the Ten of Pentacles here? I see you making a judgment call to turn your back on the past and look out into the future. And there's something I'm seeing you putting your focus on here. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is your money, but it could be different for everyone. It's a... Uh, it's, it's your legacy... And then we have the Three of Wands again here. There's something here that you're waiting for. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles again. And the Star. If you look at the bottom of the deck, there's a wish fulfillment here, Taurus. And there's a wish fulfillment here and healing with the star card. And the sun is here. It's the happiest card in the tarot deck. It's also healing, which the sun card is too, and walking away. 
You're walking straight towards your happiness and a wish fulfillment with the sun and the nine of cups. You're walking into the sun, the happiest card in the tarot deck. This three of pentacles, this is building a stable foundation that the tower can never take down. Because I can see here that you've been through the tower and um, you're healing now. You could be working with other people here, um, but you're building a stable foundation. And again, I'm seeing it being very successful. This is success and victory. Why is the Ace of Swords here? The sun. Having an epiphany moment, seeing everything clearly. Wow, and there you are again, Taurus. The bottom of the deck, the Empress. This is incredible growth. This can be an older, an older female. But this is Taurus energy. Someone could be pregnant with the sun and the empress showing up here, but these new seeds that you've planted, um, you're ready to reap the rewards of what you've planted because you've, you've made something and it's, it's ready for you to, to enjoy here very soon with the seven of pentacles. You're reaping your rewards of what you've sown. It's going to be very successful. And the sun is the yes card, complete happiness. And this allows you to choose a different direction and walk in a different path. Holding your world in your hands. And it's like, yes, this is complete happiness. Yes, I can do this now is what I'm getting. Because I feel like this is something you've been waiting for. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is the wish fulfillment again. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Page of Cups, the Five of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Right. I'm seeing... Someone returning to you here, it shows up as new love. So this could be someone who's been gone for quite a while, but I'm seeing this person really up in their head about you. They keep thinking and thinking and thinking about you and this connection. And this is someone who was in their ego. They just were being very selfish. This is someone who keeps reminiscing, looking at your pictures. They show up as this selfish energy, though. Why is the Five of Swords here? This is someone that you could have felt like there's no winning here. You could have walked away from this person or they walked away from you. Why is the Five of Swords here? Someone that you were married to or shared a home with. Someone keeping secrets. They refused your cup of love. They betrayed you in some way.
And so I, I do see, and I think I've seen this just recently with you, with you Taurus, um, that there's a choice coming up here in February because I'm seeing someone returning to your life and I see new love. Why are the lovers here? You could be dealing with a cancer. The choice is here because someone is, it's the same card. Someone who was juggling can't get you out of their minds. They keep thinking and thinking about you. It's a very sad energy. Someone having a hard time sleeping. I'm seeing them gaining control here with the chariot card and rushing towards you. But I see new love in your life also here. So I'm seeing a choice, Taurus. Okay, so the person that's on your mind, let's see what they want to say to you. We're going to start with Pisces. Pisces says, I never want to feel that way again. And the timing wasn't right for us. Cancer. I can still see you standing there and I fantasize about you. Scorpio, I know that I crossed the line with you. I know I messed everything up. Aries, leaving you hurts me too. Leo, I am becoming a better person. Sagittarius, I know more than you think. Aquarius, I hid who I really am from you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Libra, I do wish you well. Gemini, you and I were too young. I'm going to do one more for Gemini. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Okay, this is Taurus energy, so this could simply be your energy if you're not dealing with a Taurus. I love you unconditionally. Virgo, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Capricorn, I hope you're happy. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> I want to tell you so much. And let me get your Moonology cards, Taurus, for advice. What's happening with Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Okay, so we have the end of a tough cycle approaches and a time to give rather than take and expect powerful change. On the bottom of the deck, your hard work is paying off. Okay, Taurus, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and all of your beautiful comments. And I send you lots of love and light, Taurus. Namaste.